Hi guys, in this video I wanted to talk about a question that for me comes up pretty frequently. Somebody will ask what I do for a living and when I tell them the response will almost always be something along the lines of Fortran. People still use Fortran? Why would you want to do that? So I thought I'd take a moment and give a thorough explanation to answer that question. Why Fortran? But before I get into that, I just wanted to let you guys know that I've joined Sorcery Inc., owned by Damien Roussan, author of the book Scientific Software Design, and a Fortran expert himself. Together, we're offering training and consulting services, so if you'd like an interactive training session or some help on a project, make sure you get in touch with us. Our schedule's filling up fast, so don't wait. I'll put a link in the description. So now, let's get into it. Why Fortran? The first reason is that it's the first high-level programming language. It was proposed by John Backus to his employer, IBM, in 1953, and by 1957, the first compiler was actually available. Now, being old may not necessarily sound like a good thing, but it does have some significant advantages. Chiefly, there's a ton of experience to draw from. There are people around who have been programming in Fortran for more than twice as long as some of even the oldest of the more popular languages today have even existed. There is a wealth of information on development and maintenance best practices. The vast majority of bugs in the language and compilers have been found and fixed. And you'll see warnings and suggestions for, work, for avoiding any of the leftover edge, corner, edge and corner cases and pitfalls. And there's a lot of existing battle-tested code that can be reused. In fact, if you're doing numerically intensive comp computations in other languages, chances are pretty good that that library you're calling into is actually using some Fortran code under the hood. Next, Fortran's primary target audience is scientists and engineers for use in numerically intensive computations. That's even where the name comes from. Formula translation, Fortran. And because of that, it's fast. Like, amazingly fast. To this day, it still wins, or at least is right at the top in many language benchmarking comparisons. It's still used frequently in testing supercomputers and high-performance computing hardware. One of the key features supporting all of this is the native support for multidimensional arrays and matrix math. Fortran is still the primary language used in weather and climate simulations and mechanical and nuclear engineering analysis, which is how I was introduced to the language and programming in general. And finally, despite being an old language, Fortran is actually still under active development. A new standard is issued every five to 10 years. The most recent was in 2018, which added significant support for parallel programming, making it one of the very few languages with parallel computing constructs built into the language, supported natively. There are a whole variety of compilers available, both commercial and open source, and several new ones are nearing completion. There are new tools being developed to help make programming in the language easier, and there's a community effort underway to start gathering resources and learning materials and to provide easier to use open source libraries. And with all this progress being made, there is still a strong emphasis on maintaining backwards compatibility. It is exceedingly rare that a feature or construct is ever removed from the language, and significant effort is made to ensure that new features are added in a way that is consistent with the existing features and preserves the behavior of existing programs. So Fortran may not be the perfect language or the best tool for every job, but it's cer certainly worth taking a look at, especially if you're doing science or engineering. If you're interested in learning more, I've got links to the additional resources in the description. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and let me know in the comments why you use Fortran. Until next time, keep computing.